Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? It is currently 5.54 p.m. on, uh, what is today? Thursday evening, early evening. And it is currently, let's see what the temperature is outside. 77 degrees outside. Mostly cloudy, feels like 77 it says. And tomorrow it is gonna be, let's see, 81 sunshine and some clouds. Um, high of 81 winds west northwest at 5 to 10 p.m. or 10 uh, miles per hour. So I have been filming, 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 cleaning up around the house. I have my battery here because the battery that I've been using, which is my new battery, um, I actually have two new batteries that I ordered. It, um, what do you call it? It's already at the halfway mark. I just was like, use it till the very bitter end. But I filmed a drama video, the PO unboxing, and a Peterisms video on this battery. So I don't know when it's going to die. So I was like, well, I'm going to bring the extra battery out. And I am going to drink a LaCroix Limoncello. Um, I have to tell you that I am really, really, really preferring the San Pellegrino to the LaCroix. So I think when Caroline t takes me, my cousin Caroline's going to take me to run errands tomorrow. I'm going to get some more of the San Pellegrinos. Um, I really, I like the flavors better. They have like these mixed flavors that are like dark Morello cherry with pomegranate or strawberry with pomegranate. They have like all these different flavors and they can get them in like a, um, a sample box where it comes in like three different flavors. You get like 12 cans or something. And I've been drinking those at night when I've been watching my shows. And I really, really watch the, I really, really like those. It's not to say that I don't like like the limoncello and I'll, probably get another case of this too but I just like to change things up and mix things around um, of course I love my coffee and I love my Diet Coke the problem has been that if like early afternoon late morning I drink an iced coffee and then let's say around four or five or six when I finish stuff up for the day because I always in the end, the, the end, the end is near. When the end is near, I always save my vlog till the very end. And so when I um, am vlogging, you know, if I drink a Diet Coke or if afterwards while I'm uploading and I drink a Diet Coke to just kind of relax and stuff, I start feeling a little bit jittery from all the caffeine. And that's not something that I noticed before. Um, so I don't know if maybe I'm more sensitive to the caffeine now or whatnot, it doesn't keep me up late at night. But here's the other thing is that then I also like to drink a Diet Coke like while I'm watching my one of my shows. I usually drink a Diet Coke and last night I drank like a Diet Coke and two San Pellegrinos because um, again, I stayed up so late watching my shows last night. Um, but for me, I like those sparkling waters. Just as, I mean, just as much as a Diet Coke, but um, but if I want to drink a Diet Coke late at night while I'm watching my TV shows, I don't want to continue to have three or four. Plus, it's not good for you, you know? It's not like I want to have, like, four of them throughout the day, so. But I guess I'm not getting fountain pops as much because I just don't have the opportunity to get them. Yeah, stayed up and watched my shows last night. I watched... I feel like I watched something else first, but I watched three episodes of Night Sky back to back. I'm on the fifth episode. There's only eight. It's really good, but I will tell you it's a slow burn. Like, it just... I mean, I love Sissy Spacek and that J.K. Simmons so much that I could just watch for them. <clears throat> but it's a slow show. It really is. And for me to say that with two characters that I love, like, I think there's a lot of people that would be like, yeah, I can't, I can't get down with this show. But as far as it being kind of like this sci-fi, and if, if you, like, don't like sci-fi, like, it's not deeply sci-fi. It's not anything like, you know, that. But um, it's just kind of started to get into that part of it by, like, the fourth episode. And so it takes three or four episodes for you really to get to the main part of the show. Alex should be on his way home from work any minute now. He said he was going to stay till a little bit after six. And then he is going to make us salads tonight, which I'm very excited about. Alex makes these salads with, with like, 
He puts like spinach in them and feta cheese. He puts grilled chicken in his, but he makes mine first and then he doesn't put grilled chicken in mine. But I asked him, I said, can you get me some croutons? Because I love croutons so much. And then he puts, basically it's spinach and cheese. <laughs> Tons of mozzarella, vinaigrette dressing. He has like a special like vinaigrette dressing that he likes. And then it's like a Paul Newman's, I think. I can't remember what else he puts in it. He put some other veggies in it, but I don't remember which ones. So yeah, I'm really excited because he hasn't made, he makes them in these big like plastic bowls that we have. So we'll probably watch The Real Housewives um, while we eat our salads. Today's been a good day. I'm tired though, like my eyes are kind of tired today. Look at this little bird right here. Hi little bird. So an update on my bird family, which I have decided to name Dan and Roseanne Connor from the TV show Roseanne. Somebody was like, you should name them from a TV show couple. And so I was like, oh, okay, that's a good idea. How about Dan and Roseanne? Because I love the, I love the old Roseanne shows, you know. I'm not a fan of Roseanne today and all of her antics, but um, I love that TV show from back in the day. So I was watching them today, and they're so sweet, you guys, and they're totally working. I should probably move this a little closer. Hold on. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. You, they totally work as a couple. It's so cute. I guess we could probably all as couples learn something from the bird couple. Because, like, one of them has, like, sticks and stuff in its mouth, in its little mouth. And the little birds, they're only, like, this big, you guys. They're really sweet. Um... And so they fly up either here or here on like the roof and I can see them and they stand side by side and one of them will have little sticks in its mouth and then the other one doesn't have anything. And then the one with the sticks flies up like above the fern and kind of flitters there for a second and then lands. And then once they're in the fern, the other one comes down and it flitters and then it lands and then they go into the fern and I don't know what they do in there because I'm not trying to look. But then... Um, the one for the one bird will fly out and then the other bird flies out now when i was in the kitchen because i don't know if you can see this but our screen in the kitchen in here you can see like eye level into the fern and i could see where the bird was like sitting in the nest so i was real excited about that i was like oh i can see my little birds down there so from the kitchen i'll be able to see the bird babies when they're born <laughs> i'm so excited so anyway I actually thought the battery would die by now. I can't believe it hasn't. I'm trying to, like, pay attention. That's why it's, like, one of the reasons why I pulled it closer, too, so that I can see. Because I don't want to record this whole thing with my reading glasses. My neighbor across the street, she should... You should be at that cocktail hour! Well, Can you see them? Are they down there? Do you? Um, oh, it's dying. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to have to figure out this tripod thing. Hold on a second because I pulled it down. Um, so they're having this cocktail. They're doing all this social stuff in our neighborhood, which I think is real nice. Um, they're having this like cocktail hour tonight down there where you like bring your own booze and have a little cocktail. I guess they have like snacks and stuff that they're providing, but um, I was surprised because I was gonna go down there for just a second and just be like hello to everybody. But I think it started at five and um, I was like, I'm still uploading videos and stuff like that. So when I wanted to get this stuff done before Alex gets home, but I actually, I thought that I would see like a lot of neighbors like walking down there. I thought they would all like walk in groups or something in this big social event, but I didn't see anybody. I mean, I've seen people walk by, but they're not walking to that. They're like doing their exercise walking and stuff like that. She said she saw cars down there. So maybe people drove down there, I guess. I don't know. Our neighborhood is so small. It's not like you couldn't walk to it. Maybe they're afraid they're gonna, it's gonna rain or something. I don't know. So yeah, my little bird family is here to stay. They've been flying in and out a lot today. So I have a feeling that they are really getting into the nest. <laughs> They're nesting. <gasps> That's where the term comes from. Okay, I'm gonna look on here. I haven't read comments. 
on my blog for a while, so I'm going to read some comments and see what everybody's saying over here. Oh, I do have to tell you something that's kind of sad, though. I was filming my Peterisms video, and like up in the corner of the, um, it's like over the, what do you call it, the, the drain, the rain drain or whatever that's called. In the corner, a bird has built a nest, and it's like up against the house, um, so it's like real protected and stuff. But the bird sits on it, like at night. When I was out there, like early, like last night, I could see the bird, and it's a big bird. It's like this big, and it's like sitting on top of the nest, on top of its babies. Because the day before, I saw a little babies, and they're like, "We're so hungry," and I saw their little, you know, beaks and stuff. And then the mom was seeing them the next day. Well, when I was filming my Peterisms video, this, like, crow or hawk or something, like, flew down, and I could see it because it, like, flew down below, like, the door, and then it, like, went, and it sat, like, on the edge of, like, the drain thing on the back of our patio, but it, I don't know if it was trying to, like, eat the babies or what, do crows and hawks do that? I was like, oh my gosh, what is going on here? <laughs> so let me read some of the comments. Let's see. Jen said, my vote is longer vlogs. I don't get a lot of time to listen. Usually my drive to and from work and cooking dinner, so I often listen to half of my way to work and rest coming home. Then I listen to your review drama during dinner prep. It's my favorite to listen to you during my relap my downtime. I have a toddler, so it's my relap. Aw, you are so sweet. Please don't shorten them because you think we aren't listening to the whole thing. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, I actually just want you guys to know, too, I did a um, PO unboxing on my Peter Dust Stuff channel, so that will be up today as well. Bird names, hollow notes. I think a couple people said this, and I think that was funny. Uh, or peaches and herb, <laughs> said Jessica. Those are cute names, because I love both of those groups. Okay. Aaron said, I like the longer vlogs. I do tend to watch it in parts, so that might be messing with the view. I don't really care, like, what the viewing says. I just wanted to know what you guys thought as far out. As far as, like, do you like the longer ones or the shorter ones? Science is going to be a little bit shorter, probably, because A, I don't have tons to say, and B, I'm getting kind of tired, honestly. Um, and I'm sure everybody could care less about... Well, I don't know, you guys probably... Sometimes you guys are like, I love you talking about the birds and whatever. I could talk about birds for two hours, probably. God knows we could hear them for two hours, because they're allowed today, aren't they? Okay. Lauren said, can I just say that Peter's Pork Chats might be... <laughs> pork Chops? Pork, pork Chats. Might be my new favorite thing. I 100% love to listen to your videos while I work from home or do chores. It's like having a chit chat with a friend. So, 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 so glad to see you back with Love I Wanna Be Good Judy. Aw, I love you. Thank you so much, Lauren. Uh, Kaylin said, I'm excited you made a new book video. Thank you, or new book video, thanks. I had fun doing that yesterday. Joelle said, every year when I see the new mama birds collecting food for their babies, I wonder if the mama was one of the babies from the previous year. I wonder if your new mama and papa birdies are ones who grew up in your previous fern, and that's why they knew to come back. Oh, I like that. I like that storyline. We'll go with that today, Joelle. I like that. Oh, stevia. That's what I was, the word I was trying to think of yesterday, the sweetener, yeah. Carrie said, loving the, the porch vlogs. I think they're my faves. I love hearing the birds and you chit-chatting with your neighbors. It's almost like the asthma. <laughs> Cheryl said, every year I have baby birdies born in my hanging pots. Love them. Faye said, sitting here realizing I have a smile on my face. I can't believe how happy these videos make me. It's refreshing. You mean, these comments are just mean so much to me. Lots of long comments. People are talking about birds. People are, like, the, the overwhelming thanks, you guys, just mean so much to me. I really appreciate it. And saying that you actually... Here's Melissa. She said, Hi, Peter. I actually prefer the front porch vlogs. It feels up close and personal. 
So glad you have more time to be with Alex and Boo in the evenings. Oh, this was cute. Joseph said you could name them Ferna Dad and Ferna Mom. <laughs> I actually really like that. Marianne said, as I was watching this, I was laughing. On my patio out front of my home, I have a beautiful fern hanging up in the corner. As I was leaving my house, I noticed two birds sitting in my fern. They were flying back and forth from the fern to the tree. In my That's where they go, is to the front, the tree right there. Um, in my front yard. I love birds, but last year I had a bird's nest in my wreath on my front door. We could not use my front door for weeks because of Mama Bird and all of her babies. So I'm not excited about another family moving into my fern. I just laughed when I heard your story. Can I send these birds your way? I mean, like, no, you cannot send the birds this way. But that's the thing. I love the birds. I love the stories of the birds. I love the birds being here and feeling so welcoming. But at the same time, like, I mean, this is five to six weeks that I cannot water this fern you know and it's so funny to me that like I literally just bought this fern and there are I mean on my back patio I could care less if they built the biggest you know nest in the entire world so it cracks me up but it's like right away they're already building a nest in there you know okay Stephanie said I love your thumbnail moment and had me laughing I love that you can just oh you're so sweet Ashley said, I'm loving, it. apparently people love the front porch vlogs. You're so encouraging and I just love to watch you and appreciate the world around you. It's become my new favorite thing to watch. You guys are so sweet. Nikita said, can we name the bird, oh my God, can we, or oh, can we name the birds Bonnie and Clyde because they're pretty bad ASS. <laughs> Peter just randomly pausing in videos to do a thumbnail. It's hilarious, I love it. Should I do one right now? <laughs> I have to remember when I did it though or I have to go through the whole video to find it like that's the problem right that kind of looks like that was planned let's make an unplanned thumbnail hold on that's better that's better and it was right at the nine minute mark on this part of the film so I'll know where to find it nine minutes nine minutes nine minutes nine minutes all of my white bedding comes tomorrow, and I'm so excited because um, I'm ready to, like, have the whole white bed. Well, one of my pillow inserts came today. Well, the two of them, but they came in, like, you know, I ordered them together. And then my sheets came today. And then we got, we just got two more packages from Amazon. I said to Boo Radley, I said, oh, my God, Boo Radley, we got so many Amazon packages. I ordered some stuff off of Amazon to review, but I'm not like super excited about it because I saw somebody do it on TikTok. And so I thought it was a cute idea. So I bought it to review. And then Lauren sent me a bunch of Japanese and Korean treats to try. And I opened that on my P.O. Box unboxing. But she sent them all to me to try and so possibly for a review video. So I thought, okay, well, I'll do this for the review video. So, um... I don't know when I'm gonna do that. Tomorrow or Saturday, probably. Hi. Hi. Um, I don't know, it just depends. Okay, any more comments? Peggy and Jim Bob. I love all white. I hate not being able to see unless I have my reading glasses on. Sarah said, I love all white bedding. It's so pretty. I'm a pet sitter who has three animals myself, so it's just not in the cards for me right now, but I'm so stoked for you. Well, that is the problem, and I think, like, with Boo Radley, he stays pretty clean. Like, he really does. Like, even when he goes outside into, like, the dirt and stuff like that, when he comes in, like, his paws are clean and stuff like that. I don't think it's going to be a problem. I really don't. He's a clean pup. Sandra said, Peter, I love your front porch vlogs. I find myself becoming homesick. I was born and raised in Indianapolis. I live in Tucson, Arizona now, but none, no thing, nothing will take the place of the summer rains. Front porches and friendly neighbors. Aww. That is Indiana. Tiffany said, I actually love iced lemon loaf. I do too. Steph Style said, wind chimes prevent birds. You know what I just realized? I can't put my wind chimes up now because I hang them off my fern. 
So where am I gonna put my wind chimes? More problems. Every day, more problems. Somebody commented a couple days ago about like, every time I'm vlogging, there's always sirens up here. So probably two, three blocks from where I live is a fire station. And um, I can hear the sirens constantly going off from there. And then, I'm like, is there a police station close to us? We actually have two police officers that live, um, like right up the street, like before you get, they get live on the, so if you're going out of our neighborhood, there's like a street, that like cross section, and then there's the guard gate before you go out, and they live right there. I think that's probably why it stays quiet in here sometimes, don't you think? Oh, there goes Boo Radley. I'm wondering if one of our birds is like, it's kind of red. I think it's the dad. It's kind of red. It's not all the way red, but like it's, I'm looking at it right now. Like it's upper chest is red and part of its head, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's a cardinal. But it's such a pretty bird. Oh, there it is, right there. It's almost kind of like an orange-ish red. Yep, there's the mom bird, and she's got sticks. Here, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna, she's gonna fly in here, so I'm gonna turn this around, and I'm gonna show you. Hold on a second. I don't know if you can. Did you see her? She just flew over there. There she is. There they are. Okay, they just, they flew into the tree. We're gonna wait. I think they're scared of me. Come on, little birds. She's got sticks in her mouth. Why would they not wanna be recorded? They flew into the tree. Of course, as soon as I get them on camera and I get all this like settled and ready to go. Ah! <laughs> we don't need Peter up close and personal that much. Then they fly away. Well, if they come back and they go back up there, I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna catch them. I can't on camera. On camera. I actually was thinking I should do a video or do a channel where I just, <laughs> a seventh channel, and it'll be called Bird Watching. And it'll just be me filming birds and stuff like that. Do you want to see the birds out back while we're waiting for these birds? Okay, let me take you out back. I'll be right back. Okay, so you can see here's the bird's nest. But unlike the other day, I can't see any of the birds. So I don't know what's going on with it. Anyway. I don't know if they flew away or if they're asleep down there. I hope the crow or the hawk or whatever didn't get them. Anyway, there you go. Okay, so that was the nest on our back patio. But what was so weird about it was that, um, sorry the video wasn't long. <laughs> you see the fluff just flow right in front? Um, like I had to hold the camera with the tripod at a real weird angle. So I couldn't hold it for more than like 20 seconds. So that's why the video was so short. But when, um, literally it was just like a day or two ago, the, the babies couldn't have been big enough to leave the nest. So I don't know, maybe they're sleeping, maybe they're like all pushed down or whatnot. Um, but I hope that the crow or the hawk, I'm sure both crows, and hawks. I don't think it was a hawk. I don't think it was a crow. I think they probably do eat baby birds. Like, But I hope that didn't happen. That would make me so sad. And I don't know why Dan and Roseanne are not coming back to their house in Lanford, Illinois. I should get a sign up there that hang it and says Lanford, Illinois. Look, I think I sat on my glasses because they're now crooked. They don't. I did. 
That's why they're so crooked on my head. And I can't find my black pair that I had. They're wobbly, look. You can't really see on this, but do you see? They're, I'm trying to show it to you, like, demonstrate it on a phone, but anyway. My husband hasn't texted me or called me yet. I wonder if, why not, if he is at the grocery store getting the stuff for our salads tonight or if he's on his way home. Do you know the weirdest thing was, I think it was last night that I filmed like four videos and um, I got done and I like looked at the clock and I literally thought, did I say this on my vlog last night? Because I filmed my vlog was like the last thing I filmed, I think. Um, like I got, was like, I think, no, I think it was when I was uploading my vlog and I was talking to Tanya Jean or something like that. And, um, there's like this little butterfly flying all around real fast. And I like looked at the clock and I thought it was like six o'clock or something. I don't know. It just fell early, you know? And it was like 8.30 and I was like, I can't believe it's already 8.30. Oh no, maybe, maybe it was when Alex was calling on his way home from his dinner. But I was like, how is it already like 8.30? Like I couldn't believe it. I was like blown away. I was like, how did it get to be so late already? So I don't know. This battery is already at the halfway mark. What is going on with these batteries? I was supposed to have a hair appointment tomorrow but she is not able, so she rescheduled it for Sunday, so I have a hair appointment on Sunday. Alex and I both do. So we'll be doing brunch, and then we'll be having, um, I don't know. Hi. I don't know where we're going to um, do brunch. We're gonna have to do it somewhere. She said something like, who's he talking to or something like that. <laughs> I think she was coming back from the cocktail hour. Um, because our hair appointments are earlier, so. Now there's a lot of people walking back. They must have all gone to the cocktail party. Can you hear them out there? There was a man that walked by. I've never seen that man in my entire life in this neighborhood. Maybe it's like swinging senior, seniors or something up there. It's like where everybody meets, you know? They weren't up there for very long. My neighbor next door was in charge of it because she's in charge of the social com activities committee. I kind of wish she'd walk. Oh, my husband's calling me. I'll be right back. Hold on a second. Okay. <laughs> he's leaving work and he's going to the grocery store to get the salad fixings and... Yeah, he's gonna come home and we're gonna make, or he's gonna make salads and we're gonna watch Real Housewives. I don't know of which one. Uh, Atlanta wasn't on Sunday. Is that is Atlanta on Wednesdays or Sundays? Beverly Hills is on Wednesdays. Atlanta is on Sundays, and Dubai is. I think Dubai starts. It either started last night or it starts tonight. Let's look it up. Real House. Wives of Dubai start day. Oh, it started last night. <clears throat> so we've already got the first episode. You know, it's real interesting when you watch a new season, a new like franchise like Salt Lake City. When I started watching that or whatever, because like from the very beginning. <clears throat> because, you know, like, Orange County has been established, you know, and it's been, it was the very first one, so it's been around forever. Beverly Hills has been around for years. New York, New Jersey. They've all been around for a really long time, right? Hi. Hello. How are you? Good, yourself? Good. Beautiful evening. But, um, she had snacks and drinks in her hand. <laughs> she was going home for a movie night. Um, but, um... So it's interesting to watch like a new franchise like Dubai, you know, because you don't have any expectation for what it's going to be like. You don't really know. Although these women are supposed to be like insanely wealthy compared to like all the other franchises. There is the the one woman that's on it. She was on the show that took place in 
I don't think it was the Real Housewives of London, was it? Maybe it was there a Real Housewives of London? I think her name was Alexis or something like that. She was on some British show like that. Maybe there was a Real Housewives. Real House Wives of Oh, it was. It was that Caroline girl. Caroline Stanberry. There was a Real Housewives of London, and it was like one or two seasons. I watched it with Alex. There was the Real Housewives of Dallas. I actually, it was boring, but there were a couple characters on there that I really liked. I liked that one woman's mom. So, but anyway, I wonder why Dallas didn't continue, why they stopped it. You know, they brought Miami back, and now people are loving the Miami one, so... I can see in the window of my neighbor's garage across the street, because they have like curtains up, I can see like what my neighbors are doing next door in their driveway. And like they were walking in and out of the garage for a while. And so I was like, oh, I was kind of hoping they would like walk their dog over here for like a second so I could ask them like how the social, the party went. Cause she'll tell me the tea. <laughs> she'll be like, oh my God, it was so fun or it was a mess or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm going to have to get another pair of glasses. Do you see how they're crooked? Can you tell? And they're like, no. I also don't know if... Well, yeah, I sat on them. Do you see? Because I always throw them in my chair or whatever, and I straight up sat on them. But, and I love this brand Caddis. Like, I mean, these have lasted me so long, and I think they're so cute and whatever. I bought a couple pairs of progressives. This is the problem. Like, I bought two pairs of progressives. I have a pair next to my bed. I have a pair. This is the pair I use. The ones that I have, like, downstairs. Ooh, EMS. What's that guy in? What are they driving in here for? Um, hope everybody's okay. They're just like Amazon specials that I got for like $5 or something like that. So, um, they're super cheap. And, um, and you can tell they're super cheap. The ones I have next to my bed, I got from Caddis. If I just look through my stuff, I could probably find another pair. But the problem is I bought two pairs that were progressives and one I have in the kitchen in the middle where our candles are and stuff. I can't use the progressives, the reading glasses. If you're, if you don't know what, about reading glasses, you're not old enough or you don't have to wear them, don't worry about them. But progressives are like, when you're wearing them, oh, it's, oh, I thought it was flashing. No, it's not the battery. When you're wearing them, it's like, if you look up and down, I think it's, if you look up and down or to the left or right or whatever, it's like you're not wearing glasses at all. But if you look like straight onto something, it's like you have the reading glasses on. So you can wear them, um, like with my contacts, I can wear them. And then I can see everything. But it makes me feel like I'm in kind of like a bubble, you know? Or uh, what's the word I was looking for? You know those things where you look through them and they have like the color things. It's like, ooh, what's it called? Kaleidoscope, maybe? <laughs> Wasn't that a Daniel Steele book? Anyway, it, it makes me kind of feel like I'm looking through one of those and I don't like it. And so, and it makes me kind of feel dizzy and whatever. So I can't use the progressives. I just keep the ones in the kitchen because it's just easy when they're right there and I'm like reading prescription box. If I have to use them, I can use them, but they're just difficult for me to use. Um, so I actually tried to give a pair away. I asked some... I asked like in a vlog, I think it was like months ago, I said, does anybody wear 1.5? And I mean, I have these progressives that, I, that I've never used that are still in the container and everything. And they come with like a reading case or reading glasses case and everything. Nobody said that they wore 1.5. So um, I think my cousin wears them. Maybe I'll give her the, yeah, that's what I should do. I'll give her, I think we have, cause we wear the same. So I'll give those to her and she can try to use them. Maybe she can use progressives. I think they're hard to use. I don't like them. So anyway. My flowers are doing so well. They're so pretty because I've been watering them. They look so good. 
Well, listen, you guys, I have no idea how long this vlog is. I think it's probably, I think it's real short tonight, like 30 minutes. Um, but I want to start uploading this um, so that when we're watching our show, like I can have it done or uploaded. And I have to go feed little dog. That's what I call him now. I call him little dog. That's my new nickname for him. So I got to go feed little dog before Alex gets home. And I'm going to go do that and get this vlog up. So anyway... Uh, I'm going to get off here real quick tonight, and um, if nobody else has told you this today, I love you. Don't forget three important things. I guess I'm not getting off here real quick. Three important things. Random Practice random acts of kindness. You can start your day over whenever you want, and most importantly, make sure that you reach out to somebody and let them know how much they mean to you. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Love ya!